Hello everybody and welcome to this week's Monkey Nut Punch podcast and I have the very um, audacious Keith with me. Audacious? Yeah, audacious. audacious. I'll, take, I'll take that, I'll take that. Um, uh, how are you doing? I'm doing alright, Just uh, it's been a bit of a slow one this week I'll be honest with you. It is a slow news week this week, it is a slow yeah. news week, yes. Yeah. Um, not much, not much to report. Uh, there's a few sort of droplets of stories, but it's not 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 a huge amount this week. Not a huge amount. Well, well we've got a couple of trailers to watch, so we should be all right with them. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, all good in that. Um, hi, Biffa. Before we start the new story, oh, oh, <laughs> and hi, Chuck. Um. Yeah. Hi, Chuck. We're gonna we're gonna be looking at that later. Mm, I don't I know anything feelings. about it. He has I feelings. Feelings. I have feelings. Feeling feelings. Anyway, enough with all of this. I think we should just go straight into the pitiful news that we've got this week. So, um, mm. let's uh that one. Uh, a word's too much for you. Then you should follow us on Instagram. We put pretty pictures out. So, <laughs> so our first bit of news, which I haven't bothered pressing the share button on because it's uh, it's just one of those things. Let me put it on. Sorry, oh, how terrible of me. So we've got. I, I hmm, we're talking about scraping the bottom of the barrel. We've got splinters off the back end of this one. Um, Netflix has announced their hit series, The Witcher, is coming to an end. The series will wrap up with the fifth season, but not before uh, not before we get to see the much-anticipated season four, which is currently in production in the United Kingdom. The latest twist, Henry Cavill, who brilliantly portrayed the titular character of Gerald of Rivia, will be passing the baton on to Liam Budget Hemsworth. <laughs> Um, yes, let's unpack the details of this. So, we, we, we went, I think we covered the, 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 um, the Henry Cavill controversy where he just turned around because you're not doing the story, you're not following it through. Um, I was only contracted for three seasons. I'm, uh, I'm out of it. Bye. Which was very polite of him. Um, and then there's Lauren Histrich who, uh, insisted that it, it that they just ignore the whole Witcher nonce uh, the whole witched story um yeah. which basically always comes back to that about the thing that we always bang our drum about is re- respecting the source material mm-hmm. yeah there's no respect to the source material here so it's yeah it it went it went from being a story about a guy going around killing monsters to um just girl bossing everywhere pretty much so uh so annoying it's uh I, I, I'm, I'm staggered that uh, they haven't fucking learned their lessons. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm staggered that it's got a fifth season. Um, I I know that the third season unperformed. The spin-off of the se- uh, from it was even worse. I don't know how Netflix are kind of justifying a fifth season. It it, it shocks me. I stopped watching sort of after two or three episodes of the second season. I, it took me a while to get into it on the first season, but you and Nige told me to persevere, so I did. And I kind of got through it and thought, yeah, there was some interesting stuff in the first se- season. It, I'll be honest, it's never really been my thing, but Henry Cavill made it kind of watchable. But then the second season, as you said, it just started girl-bossing everywhere, and she, there was the 
it was the it was the tried and tested and very boring girl to the key to everything story and there was nothing original about it and it just it just didn't do anything for me so i'm shocked that it got i know why it got a full season because after henry cavill left and they contracted uh liam you know liam budget hensworth um in you know in in as the uh the lead role i thought well they're gonna have to at least do a season or they're gonna be really embarrassed but to do another season on top of that okay um i i seriously i think people are tuning to the first episode and then they'll tune out um and i mean i won't be watching it it doesn't really interest me at all i i, I gave up and i didn't even bother with the third season didn't watch any of it i heard mm-hmm. how terrible it was so I, I i tried i think i tried i think i watched the first 20 minutes of witcher blood origin and that put me off completely um i watched the first season of the witcher and there was like there was a standalone episode where he has to fight i think it's a striga in an abandoned castle which was great where it's just the witcher doing witchery things yeah turned up yeah. i've been it's paid to get rid of said monster get rid of said monster that was a good one and then second season i think the opening episode with him and siri and it's kind of a take on beauty and the beast sort of thing where it's just the two of them in the house fighting another again come up against a monster a bit of a mystery if it was that every week i'd be in but it's not yeah, I'll give you that. It. Yeah, uh, those are the uh, ones I enjoyed. Everything else like that, nah. You're right. The first episode of season two was quite good. I'd forgotten that. And actually, it was the second episode, I think, I then started tuning out. Um, and yeah, I didn't I didn't finish season two. And I've never really felt like I've missed um, anything on it. Um, it just, it, it, yeah. I, it didn't do it for me really, and then you know they started bringing in modern day politics, like making the the minstrel character or the singer character gay and things like that, because you know we had to have that in there somewhere. Um, we, we screams at me, we've run out of ideas. I, it, it really it, does. It, when you say that, it's yeah. like oh, we'll make them gay. Well, that's that that's great. Where's the story going? Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, I, look, just... I, I mean, it just, it's everything has to have, you know, uh, one, one of these types of characters in now and, and it's just lost its power, powerfulness. And it, 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 when you shove this down people's throats to the level that you do, all you do is end up damaging your cause and it, it's just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, look, which have got canceled, boo hoo hoo, move on. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I, no, you know I mean, the, what, do you know what the worst thing is? If if I could go back in time and give the rights to The Witcher to the people who made Xena Warrior Princess and Hercules, I reckon we would have got a cheesy but entertaining show. True. Uh, no, no, we wouldn't have had disappointed from this one. <laughs> no, we wouldn't have disappointed for this one. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's move on to the next one. Watching the content so far? Why don't you leave a comment and join in with us? We'll get to comments in a bit. So, uh, you like For All Mankind. Uh, okay, I kind of like it because I kind of like these what-if things. And, mm-hmm. you know, it, 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 it's it, it, it's been an interesting watch. It is a bit girl bossy at times, but less so than season one. Um, okay. all right. So, hang, hang, hang on, hang on. Let, yeah. Can I just read... Read me, read, read me notes. Um, did I put... Did I make notes for this one? I don't think I did make notes for this one. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, hang on. Hi. Yes, I did. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so, uh, for all mankind, Apple TV Plus Adventure has officially been renewed. Uh, been renewed. This beloved alternate history sci-fi series uh, for fifth season. But hold on to your space helmets. There's an intriguing twist. A long... Uh, alongside the upcoming season is a brand new spin-off titled Star City has been announced. So gear up so we can explore uh, uh, what's, what's next for this imaginative series, blah, blah, blah. I, why do you like this, Keith? Seriously, well, I want to know why you I like think this. Because I think it's, it's, quite, it's been quite good. I mean, the, the, Mars, the Mars season was interesting. 
Um, and I quite enjoyed season three. Season three was particularly good. Season four had its moments, um, uh, but wasn't nearly as strong as season three. And I suppose I've enjoyed... I, I like some of the characters. I, I think it's taken taken some risks. Um, it's Ronald D. Moore, so it is well made. Um, and it is well it is well produced and it is for the most part well written it, it's an interesting take on 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 you know what had happened if the russians landed and i sp- I, I suppose this star city news is quite interesting because what they're going to do is go back to the beginning and look at it from the russian perspective within star city which again could be quite interesting i don't, i like all things space and this isn't that bad um and you know i like I, I i don't think it's that bad i think it's one of one of the better shows on apple tv and you know it's had a budget it's had interesting characters human characters um and i've 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 enjoyed it for the most part it's watchable um we'll have to see what they do in season 5 because season 5 jumps ahead to now pretty much and we've got this great big base on a on a an asteroid which we're mining um and there's lots of stuff on there that can change the world and i I just like how technology you know would have happened a lot sooner had the space race continued and that that that's quite true um, if NASA had been forced to spend so much more, you know, keep the the the, the budget as as it was in the sixties, technology would have developed a lot quicker. Um, and I and again, I I I find this show interesting. There's always like they bother to do all these like web episodes where they catch you up between what's happened with various characters, and they do from like a newscasters' perspectives. And I like that before they launch the season, it's done well. It's a well-made series. Is it the greatest TV series in the world? No. Do I like it? It's watchable. It's far more watchable than The Witcher. Um, and I know the season one was a bit whammy. Um, uh-huh. and, but I think they learned from that. And in season two, they made it more believable. Um, and I like that. Three... They put women in it. Well, not believable. Uh, take them out of it. Believable. Well, no, you know what I mean. That the season one was very surprise woman in some places. Yes. Although I really did actually quite like Molly Cobb and the actress that played her. Uh, I quite enjoyed, and her performance got better, and she became a more interesting character when it wasn't surprise woman in season two. And actually, you know, she becomes a hero in season two, and the way she deals with that. Um, Again, I, I like, and the fact that she becomes a bit washed up in season three, and again, she has a good character arc, and all of those characters, and yes, okay, we got the gay president and, and things like that, uh, but again, the way they actually folded that in into again into season three kind of works. They made it more believable. Um, so oh, My battery's run out on my camera. Bloody hell. <laughs> I blame Bapster for that because we were talking on Friday. Um, okay, I, I, right. I, I, I enjoy it and I'm looking forward to this. And I'm surprised that we're getting a spin off series actually. Um, there wasn't a huge amount of talk about season five, but uh, season four, um, but uh, season season three, uh, see, uh, this spin off will be interesting. I'm glad we've got a season five. Uh, they 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 clearly have a place where they want to get to. And they hadn't finished that in season four. I think they could finish it in season five. So, um, oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, I'm, uh, one, I'm, I'm invisible at the moment. Um, I, I'm trying to think when I watched it because I watched it and I just, I just struggled because it was just like, oh, this comes across. So, first of all, your, 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 um, what do you call it? Your assumption that if NASA had the budget, that that technology would have progressed faster, further, um, is wrong, factually, uh, because I everyone knows that everything, any innovation, is always spurred on by uh, war. Look at yes, the Second World is... War, the leaps in technology, Second World War. Yeah, but that ha- that's depicted in season two, and then again in season three to a certain extent that 
that how you know we are very near the brink of war and we do develop this technology in season two they develop like this nuclear propulsion to get there and then they get around the moon and get a base established on the moon and then, then there's things like that again the way that the way it's done in the show is it's believable the technology is there because they are in a proxy war with russia and the war very much works out very differently on screen because the russians landed on the moon first it's interesting it it when i say technology i mean we're talking like five or ten years earlier so like they had like better internet 10 years earlier that's believable i'm not talking like that they've got laser guns or anything um the, the technology hasn't advanced much more beyond what we've got now i mean we we do technically have the technology to build a base on the moon and build bases on mars we have that technology now. If we had the fucking budget, we'd be there by now. And this is what the it, it depicts. And I, I just find that interesting. It's, so it's not that technology develops much faster. That They have like mobile phones and smartphones a bit earlier than we did and things like that. Okay. I, I, I just, as a, a, I can't remember what I, I just, I really, I know you like it. But uh, I Look, think we can't bit... always like the same things all the time, and I get it. Um, I, I, I get that you don't. I, I find it entertaining. Look, at the end of the day, uh, I'm glad it's getting a season five. There we go. Okay. Slow news. All right. Week. You're, oh, you're, yeah, it is a slow news week. <laughs> all right. Um, so that's uh, da, 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 oh, uh, that one. You're listening to the Monkey Nut Punch Podcast. Fallout has been renewed for a second season at Housen. Um, which is amazing. Uh, Fallout series that takes past, place in a post-apocalyptic world has been uh, pushed to new heights. And Amazon Prime have renewed it for a second season. Created by Kilter Films under the watchful eyes of executive and producers... John, Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy Fallout has exploded in popularity, securing its place as one of the top three most watched titles on the platform. Um, yeah, now I, I, I had feelings about this, and you had feelings about this. You, 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 I don't. My wife watched the podcast, and her criticisms of you were like, "Doesn't he get the fact that it is that '50s Americana? It has that '50 yeah. Americana vibe and music, and it's quite essential." Yes. in like kind of I, setting I do, I do but i think it's overused um I, I i i still think it's overused um i know that it's 50s americana but it is it just felt overused it felt the same samey and overused okay there Doesn't are do some, that in the game. some not like oh, that. Only, it depends if you switch the radio on or not i feel like listening to three dog yeah, because you got three dog. He's always uh, entertaining was, to listen to. It, it was just it was it was one style of American music. It wasn't just American. It was one style of Amer American music. There wasn't a lot of like country and Western music in there or anything. It was one style of overused American there, music. There some Johnny Cash bits in there. Some, I mean, uh, two. There were two in there um, at least. But anyway, that's not my biggest criticism. I can't think of. No, so, so out. just to, to 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 recap, we got the uh, you know, Lucy left Vault Thirty Three, went to the wastelands, came across um, Knight Maximus or whatever his name is, who I think is I think is a bad guy. I've actually reached the conclusion he's a bad guy in the story. Yeah, he's a bad guy. And then um, they then caught up to the woman who who took Lucy's father from Vault Thirty Three. Um, and gave them limited energy via cold fusion, but the Borrowers still now control that facility. And her dad fucked off to New Vegas to go and see Mr. House. So we've got those bits there. Um, the downside is that it is done by Lisa, uh, Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan, who were responsible for Westworld from season two onwards. Um, so I'm a bit... Mm, is it just gonna just deflate like a balloon in season two? 
what are they going to do with with season two? They've got the Battle of the Hoover Dam that's going to happen, the first battle or the second battle. Um, we can have Caesar's Legions in there what, what, with Mr. House. Because what they've done with Mr. House, yeah, is you've got this guy, Howard. It's pretty much Howard Hughes, yeah? And he predicted the bombs would fall, yeah? But he got he was out by one week, yeah? Now, Vault Tech were dropping the bombs, yeah? And he didn't get his chip to, to arm all his things. He's going to look like a right bell end, isn't he? All right, unless, unless the bombs dropped early and it wasn't vault that dropped the bombs. They were planning on dropping the bombs, but the Chinese beamed to the punch. That would be hilarious if that was the other thing. It's like kind of, we plan to drop bombs on this week, um, but, you know, Chinese kind of got there first. Um, that would be entertaining. Um, I, hope to see, I hope to see some better bits in there. I hope to see some super mutants, because they haven't had any super mutants in there. I hope to see some proper NCR, like if they're in the thingy. Maybe Caesar's Legion... Um, Death Claws, Missed Out, Rad Scorpions, Mole Rats, things like these things that you'd find quite common in the Fallout games, which were missing from, from the TV show. Um, I didn't... I have issues with the TV show because it kind of took liberties with certain bits of the story. Because um, it said it's supposed to be in-world. If it wasn't in-world, then I don't think I'd have so much issues with it. But Fallout New Vegas... Probably best story, not the greatest map in comparison to Fallout 3. I think Fallout 3's got the best map out of all of them. But it's, um, yeah, season two. My wife watched it, she enjoyed it. So, and the normies like it. That's what we can safely say, the normies like it. Whether you like it, it's something entirely, but the normies like it. Um, I, I, look. I, I get it. Um, some people enjoyed it. Um, I, I, I didn't think it was bad, but I I, I do think I, I I understand that it's fifties Americana. That it's kind of like almost steampunk in places and retro retro but futuristic tech sort of mixed in together. I I just felt I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't you know. I just felt that style of music just it seemed to me to be overused when you binge watch it um mm. it was like uh, and um right. so, so here's I, the, the first act, thing i'm sorry but the actress's eyes freak me out it's a personal thing but they just freak me out ah oh, that poor ella pernell poor yeah, poor actress um yeah. but uh what, i lost my chain of thought then it's annoying because there's, there's something interesting to say because it was like kind of Right. Oh, that was it. Um, I got the feeling that this was supposed to be on weekly because they had previously on. Yeah. And it looked like it was set to be weekly, but they dropped it all at once, which unusual go, for Amazon because hmm. Amazon usually don't do that. So I don't know why they did dump it all in one go. I was surprised because I, I was expecting it to be every week. And when Amazon said they were dumping it all in one go, I thought that's unusual for Amazon. Um, that hasn't been what Amazon have, you know, done. And there's people saying that Fallout really should have been weekly. Yeah, um, I was expe I was expecting weekly. I was planning the show around it being weekly too. If that <laughs> makes any difference. <laughs> well, hey. I mean, it's come, it's gone. We're getting a season two. I suspect that it will happen pretty quickly. Um, but we're getting a season two. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'll watch it. I'll watch yeah. it. Anyway, I think we've got some trailers to watch, but I think we'll do the comments while we're waiting. So uh, let's play the music. So I'll go all the way back to the beginning here. So yes. Um... <sighs> ah, right, so uh, be a stupid gamer. He, had, he told me that he had so much fun doing his taxes this year. And he was, he was, yeah, he was hit from multiple sides, from multiple angles, and it just seems so depressing just watching large chunks of money leave your bank account, going to the federal government. So, uh, thank God that's over. Um, Witcher cancelled. Congratulations to Netflix. They always manage to mess it up every single time. Not every single time, but um, ninety-nine percent of it. There are a few errors here and there. Um, and I agree with this. When it comes to The Witcher, just single episodes with Henry Cavill doing a monster of the week, Keith, literally a monster of the week, would have been perfect. That was that's what I that's actually what I wanted. 
And then you can throw the series storyline in there, like kind of like happening in the background as like an overall arc. Um, Chuck got me started on Louder Milk on Netflix. Don't know what the what hell that is. is that? Don't know what that is. Not sure. Not sure what that got... is. You have to explain more on that one. Um, Doll. Um, Sony. And then yeah, I've got only one battery. It. He's talking about my camera. I have yeah, a second so... battery downstairs. The problem is, it's downstairs, and I'm not downstairs. Um, um, and it is also the fact that I did, um, I did like a podcast with Bapster on Friday, and I didn't charge the camera up. Oops, my Oops. bad. See, this yeah. always stays connected to my computer, so it's always charged. Yeah, but I only switch this on like kind of three times a week, so yeah. Mm. So you got that stealth mode, yes. Gareth's Klingon, what's it? Klingon device is powered up instead of the Sony. Mm, yeah, maybe. Uh, NASA is sending a drone to sending a drone to Saturn's moon, which is pretty badass. Yeah, and then we've got. I possess the ring of Saturn, not Satan. Just checking. Why does uh ah uh, ha ha? Why does I don't know actually. That's doing quote, isn't it? Who is the, yeah? Who is this guy? I don't know. He's a new fella, but uh, he's busy posting. So we only only write that we read when we're doing the comments. Rice gum, go Miami Heat. No, I don't. Oh, rice gum. Laurie, that was very boring thing to type. I have no idea what it's typed. Go back up. Oh, louder milk. I don't know if louder milk's any good. So, yes. Oh, okay. We're getting Klingon references now. Long live <laughs> Kalis. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I always, always felt that... I always felt that... Right. So just, just talking about Star Trek, yeah? The Klingons always came across to me and... As black Klingon sp uh, space pirate, uh, space Vikings. Yeah, that kind of works. Yeah. 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 I always thought I always saw it like that. So it's 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 a weird one. Um, Klingon opera equals American opera. Oh, okay. So yes. All right. Um. Yeah. Well. Um, thanks for everybody in the comments. We'll carry on in a bit. Um, what are yes. we doing now? What are we talking about now? <sighs> so this is, I blame oh, Kaki. I blame Biffa for this one. Well, he wasn't, it wasn't his idea. It was actually my idea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Should okay. we watch this? All right. Oh, Scott, your hands. Should we watch this? I like that. I cut the intro out so we don't have to watch. Chris Hemsworth embarrasses himself, but hey, here we go. And he's the, the full budget Hemsworth. So, how long do you think we'll be here? I'm not talking to you. You know what? We are so screwed! Thought you weren't talking to me. You two, come with me. Report to control. waste management. Hi there, I'm B-127. I'm actually working on some nicknames. The the one I'm floating right now is um, Badassatron. Which is actually pronounced Badassatron. Um, we're gonna call you B. I know we're just lowly worker bots who can't even transform. Don't you wanna see what's out there? There's a reason no one goes to the surface. It's dangerous. Why'd you bring jetpacks? They fly now. Okay. Um, uh, right. So, I, 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 I'm, I'm quite familiar with. I, I had the Transformer comics as a kid, and then the, 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 that's the UK Marvel version of the Transformers comics. Yeah. And the story behind Megatron and Optimus Prime were th was simple. Cybertron was like a slave colony of these things called the Quintessons. Yeah. And they used the Autobots were the the manual labour, and the Decepticons were the def defensive force. Basically, they were the military. 
Anyway, they used to have gladiatorial battles and whatnot. And one of the thing, one of the main people in the gladiatorial battles was a guy called Megatron. I think it was, Me- it was Megatron or Megatronus. I can't bloody remember. And he won, and eventually he decided to overthrow the Quintessons. Yeah. So he rallied the workers and he rallied the military and they pushed the Quintessons off the planet. Yeah. They got transforming powers at the start of the um, what do you call it the. Uh, the whole situation, yeah? And one of the reasons that Megatron has issue, um, what do you call it, issues killing Megatron is that he technically freed all the Transformers. Yeah? He freed them, and then they had a civil war shortly after because it was like, kind of, no, 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 this is not how we rule. And the Autobots and Decepticons then fought over that. So uh, there's going to be a bit of copyright in here. Hang on. If we survive this, I'm going to kill you! I accept those terms. Fucking Rolling Stones, we're gonna get hit there. Yeah. The surface. It's beautiful. You have proven yourself worthy. Take these and access your full potential. So, uh, that's not what happened. Megatron got an upgrade. Optimus Prime almost died, well, as um, Orion Pax, and then he got an upgrade. Um, yeah. It's time to show them we are more. And this really feels like, um, what do you call it? Like DreamWorks. Kung Fu Panda version of Transformers. Do you know what I mean? Is that they're flying around being all goofy and sh- shit? Or then meets the eye. We can transform now. On three, one. Ah! See what I mean? It's very Kung Fu Panda-y nonsense. Ha! It's working. Where's my head? Yeah. How do we use these things? Oh, 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 wheels! I need wheels! Oh god! They've yeah. they've they lower decked lower decked transformers, haven't they? I don't. I just don't find this funny in this context. It's funny in the context of Kung Fu Panda, but this is a an existing kind of oh <laughs> dear god. Ah. <laughs> uh. Guys, that's not good. We've got these powers for a reason. Let's use them. We stand here together as one. It's just really an- annoying. Oh, I got a battle mask! It appeared with this guy! Night hands? I have night hands! I can see that. B, these are not the bad guys. Why did you cut the door? What? No, it was already like that. Right? Yes, that's, that's right. right. Yes. It was, yes. Yeah, it was already mm-hmm. like Yeah, that's right. Right, so meh. Oh shit! I know. <laughs> I, I can't even. I can't even support it as like a kids, kids thing because it doesn't even. See, because we got when we got Transformers the movie, yeah. It was quite hardcore. Well, I say hardcore. They killed Optimus Prime off, and technically killed Megatron off, and they wiped. They were wiping out robots left, right, and center, and big kind of heavy metal soundtrack and everything really really enjoyable but yeah so yeah it's uh mm. Mm. It, it, it didn't it didn't that it just felt like a bit this humor wank. humor yeah it's a pile wank. of wank it's wank yeah yeah <laughs> That's probably a very good description of it. Wank. 
<laughs> um, right. Now, this, so, on the other hand, I'm looking yeah, forward Yeah, considering to. we were told at the end of Season 2, oh, we're probably not going to get Season 3. And it's like, can't take it. It, after the viewing figures, it's getting a Season 3. Everyone I know has watched it. It's got a Season 4, too. It's got a Season 4 as well? Yeah. There you go. I know everyone keeps trying to cancel Jeremy Clarkson, but the end well, is because us. He's, done, he's doing... He's doing wonders for the British farming community, which he is, because he is highlighting this and this shitty council that he lives by. Um, I really want to see how he deals with them. What a bunch mm. of wank. I hate local councils, and this series made me hate them even more. Bunch of okay. di- di- fucking dictatorial wankers. Anyway, carry on. Enforcement notice. Cease use of any part of the land as a restaurant or a cafe. What? Ridiculous. All the effort we put in, and we're back on square one. You've done it all. I've made a big decision. I'm going to make you farm manager. Really? Why don't we make it a competition? Who can make the most money? Me, out of unfarmed land. It's just a test. Or you, out of farmed farm land. land. Um, this farm competition. God knows his ideas. Simply apply the vacuum cleaner to the Blackberry. I've got a new thing. Pigs. Pigs. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> I was muted myself. Um, I've, I've, I've picked blackberries and uh, I never thought about using a vacuum cleaner. Um, yeah. It'd be fun to have little piglets running around. Oh, Christ. Where's one of the pigs been sick in my pocket? <laughs> Get the biscuits, darling. Get the biscuits. Which one for? Mushrooms. Why? Oh, God. Well, that's oh my God. God. Wow. That is dangerous. Wow. Yeah, there must be a ton of spores in there. Mm-hmm. Hello, goats. If they start escaping, that... Oh, f- me! <laughs> 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 Owie! Oh my god! Oh! Ow! You know, the worst thing is, you're looking at it because his wife's giving him no sympathy. His girlfriend, sorry, he's giving him no sympathy, and the lady over here with the goats is giving him no sympathy. I'd find goats slightly evil. Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna win this competition. Can you feel the piglet? Oh look! One of them is as weak as hell. Oh no. <laughs> oh, you knew that was going to happen. Are you always in common with a chainsaw? If this goes wrong, the only part of Channington that quite likes you, you're gonna flood. There ain't <laughs> what's he doing? <laughs> no more. All the people moving out of London. We've got Cal, we've got Beckham, Natalie and Brulia, Amanda Holden. We can sell hay to their horses, trust yeah. me. This is the wheat price. It's falling. I'm 230 pounds up. You're minus 78,000 pounds. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm hoping someone has attached him to that for a laugh, because if not, that's quite tragic. We've got to get rid of all health and safety equipment off the farm. It's, it's really injuring people. <laughs> Who's that? It's actually half of Groove Armada. Who? Why is he drilling my field? Holy moly! Yeah, you can't... Hang on a second. Is that... Yeah. Is that an autonomous... Yeah. ...brush clearing kind of device there? Yeah, looks it. Wow. Yeah, you can't do that. Caleb, how, how are, are you? you? You've got lovely hair. You can't go up, part of boy. They cause an hour. It's me the programme and everything. Well, I just think, you know, with... Well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he started talking like him. <laughs> oh, my word. This, on the other hand, looks quite good. Um, yeah. And I will be up for watching this. Um, I, I liked, I've, li- I've loved Clarkson's Farm, actually. It's been really interesting. 
Um, it's done wonders for the British farmer. It highlighted the plight of British farmers. Um, and yeah, I, 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 I don't get why people are so anti him, really. Um, you know, the more people are anti him, the more he does it to wind you up. Um, and it, he turns, you know, grown people into little kids the way they behave about around him sometimes. Um, I, I think he's look, he's mostly harmless for God's sake. Um, so, but I, I liked seeing the goats, the goats made me laugh. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm looking forward to it. I think Amazon are releasing the first four episodes and then two or three weeks later releasing the other four episodes. They're doing a bit of a Netflix. Um, so I might wait for the whole lot to come out. I can't remember. Uh, at least that's what it sounds like. But I will, I'm looking forward to it. Bring on yeah. Clarkson's mom. Okay. Hmm. It, I, I have to say I enjoyed it. And to, yeah, they, they, it, is, it is mad how the council reacts to some of the stuff that he does. Um, I, I mean, is... that, that restaurant that he wanted to open would have done wonders for the local community, right? He wanted to use all local produce. He he had all these farmers in, introduced, and the council took a great big shit on it. And and it just it, it, it highlights how bad local councils are. Um, uh, oh and oh ah! Uh, don't get I, me started on that. Oh my god! You should see some of the debt that these councils have racked oh, yes. up. Woking, oh, yes. Birmingham, Can't Birmingham. One other one. Birmingham, <laughs> Birmingham. Birmingham spends enough, enough money to buy a small private army, but they haven't got it to show because they're so bloody inefficient. Yeah. Um, but hey, it's, it's one of those things. It's, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's talk about something that we uh, hopefully you watched this week that you liked. So I'm going to talk about X-Men 97 because I keep mm -hmm. watching it, waiting for it to go shit. I really do. And I'm just like, this is fine. This is this is okay, and there's some good bits in it too. Um, I don't like the animation because it doesn't feel like the animation from um, from the '90s that I'm used to. Um, it has because of it because it's improved, and I will admit that it's an improvement on it. It doesn't feel as organic or analog as the, the '90s version did, mm. which is fine. I, I have to get over myself for that for that bit. But I've watched it so far, and. Um, it's not shit like every other Marvel thing, which I'm like staggered at. I'm really, I need you to watch it just because I might be missing. I'm think I'm my brain telling Gareth you might be missing something. Um, I'll, but I've, I'll I've watched try and, it. I'll, I'll try and watch the episodes so that of that are available this week. I shall try and do that. Yeah, you trust me. You'll watch it and um, and you'll you'll enjoy it. And it's 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 good. And it's like they killed one of the characters off last week. And they've removed them from the title card and everything. I need you to watch because you just watch it and you're like, oh my God. And it, how? And the problem is, is the guy who was responsible for it, because he couldn't keep his willy out of his, out, off of his bloody smartphone and then decided to publish it all to the internet. We've lost that. I think, I think that the whole, because he did season one and two, I think the whole of season one and two will be competently done. Yeah. And I say competently done, that's high praise for anything Disney Marvel, yeah? Will be competently done, and then when you get to season three, it will go to trash. And the reason they fired him was because he knew what he was doing. And and, and he got his willy out on camera and charged people to see it. Um, <laughs> which is so annoying. It really is. Um, and I'm just... I, I, I want you to watch it. You need to watch it. It's... There are, if they've redone... They've, they've got the, the original title sequence... They've got the end bit. Remember, we watched the first season of it, yeah? Uh, sorry, Biff has just brought something up. So, the first season of their, something. Have they? have they got the... Have they yes. got that music? Oh, yes. All right, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> that, that theme tune alone. <laughs> it's... Right, so the really annoying thing is, if they do... If they do... Um, what do you call it? A uh, Marvel... X Men, they have to have that music. It, it can be a big orchestra version of it, yeah, but it has to be that because that's like one thing that kind of knocked me in Fallout that it wasn't here. So I'll, I'm going to put the title sequence onto. Fuck it, we've really got copyright claim, uh, claims from 
what's it, the, the two trailers we watched. So we might as well go full bore. I'll load this up, hang on a second. I'll show you the intro sequence. And you'll notice the animation has been improved, but doesn't feel quite the same. There you go. Mm. It is so, better animation. You're right. I know, and, and it kind of makes me go. Oh. It's because I, I like. I kind of like that. That it's, it feels a bit more homely and organic. Mm. But I, I, it makes sense, and and it's annoying because we always talk about them respecting the source material, and this is the first time I think I've seen Disney Marvel respect the source material so far. Fuck. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't remember what last time they respected the source material. Yeah, they, 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 uh, I mean, not. I haven't yet brought myself to watch watch it because, and I don't think I will. But there, there is some stranger things happening. A lot of people who heavily dislike Discovery mm. keep telling, saying that they like this season. Really. Now, yeah, like, really, really. There's a few people that I've watched that, that, you know, really say the same shit that we say about Discovery, and they're going, I'm not disliking this season. And I'm like, uh... Have been hit in the head? I don't know. I don't know if to watch it or not. I don't, I don't know. I don't know at the moment. I'm kind of like, I watched... I think kind of watched season four, and it was shit, really. Although there was... A half interesting story. It's just not in the discovery world. Um, but some people are saying that I don't know. There's a guy that I watch on YouTube that says I don't like discovery. I don't like. I'm, I'm liking the first few episodes. Kind of feels a bit Star Trekky. It. I don't know. Um, but um, just saying, there's a few people out there. Some, some weird things going on. Um, but Biffa's comment here yeah i tried i tried i i did try i just love myself too much i i i watched the first 30 minutes of it and then i just started skipping through because i was like i know what's gonna happen here um and uh unsurprisingly everything that i thought was gonna happen kind of did i thought when the the princess wasn't gonna be dead she's not um i thought they're gonna kill the guy the, the guy admiral guy again um, and boyfriend's gonna get killed, and oh, spoilers! All of that shit happened. Um, it, meh. Um, robot Anthony Hopkins, meh. I, mean, I, I really do not understand why people get so excited about Zack Snyder. It's badly written, shit movie. The, the funny thing is, though, I keep seeing where it would fit in in Star Wars. It's like you, you, you can tell. Where this would have worked, what fit, fit fitted in, in in into a Star Wars, um, a Star Wars universe, like the princess would have been a Jedi, um, or a force sensitive kid, right? The the the, the obviously the, the the king thingy would have been, you know, some sort of prince on one of the planets getting killed by the Empire. The fact that everybody on the on the ship is English and bad, it just stinks of Star Wars in that respect. But it was just bad, man. I mean, Rotten Tomatoes, I, it's one of the very rare occasions when I agree with the critics. <laughs> it's genuinely bad. Um, I skipped through it. I, I couldn't watch all of it. It, 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 meh. Um, I 
did think about watching it and then I thought maybe I'll be better off swallowing a load of pills and going on some kind of acid trip. <laughs> you might be better off watching Star Trek Discovery, apparently. <laughs> No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, it's not that, it hasn't reached that level yet, but uh, uh, it's, uh, Zack Snyder cannot and should not ever be near the writer's room, yeah, he can do it visually, but he cannot do it narratively as a director, yeah, actually saying that, some of the visuals in this, what I, the ones I've seen, is I think we saw the, we saw the gunfight that was so fucking slow. I thought it was in slow motion and realised, no, it wasn't in slow motion. It was regular speed, it, which is a it, little it worrying. Got, it got terrible. That there was a scene where I think they were shoehorning in a lesbian relationship between like the non-binary character uh, and uh, uh, one of the girls who, you know, it, it, it just shoehorning the shit in Can, um, is it is it keith is it wrong that i want to go back to that when we had 90s lesbians because they yeah, were 90s much les, 90s lesbians were good in tv but much <laughs> yeah. better i'm just saying i really miss 90s that, lesbians Sarah. were good um yeah i don't get it i i um really i don't get what what people see in Zack snyder and that, that they have this massive like you know, hard on for him. Um, this movie is shit. It's objectively shit. It's objectively bad. And I don't get why Netflix made it. I mean, apparently it was, it had critic embargoes until like literally the day it came out. And I didn't even know it was coming out. It was suddenly there. Oh, oh, Rebel Moon Part 2 is out. Oh, okay. Same here. All right. Um, and I tried to watch it and I was just meh. Just meh. Um, so yeah, I tried to, Biff. I, I tried to put myself through it. Um, but yeah, even I like myself too much for that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, no, it was uh, not good TV. I couldn't get through it. I actually ended up starting to watch June Part Two again, and that's far more enjoyable. So um, yeah, I've, I, um, I, I have a, a copy of June Part Two, which is now available for streaming. Um, and I am uh, watching that instead. And uh, oh, Godzilla minus one is oh, released yes. on Amazon Prime in Japan on May the first. Now ah. there's no yet news on when it's going to be released worldwide for streaming. Um, I'm trying still to find out whether the Blu-ray edition that's getting released in Japan has English subtitles on it or not. It does come with bo both um, the original movie and the Godzilla minus one uh, minus color, uh, um, which so they've done minus a black one and white minus color. Okay, they released a special version of it where they did a black and white version of it. Like, um, so I'm still waiting to find out because if the DVD does have English subtitles on it, I'm I'm there. I'll buy it. I'll order it from Japan. Um, but. Um, I'm waiting to find out. I'm waiting to find out. But that is one movie that I will be buying. Um, and uh, yes. Or or, it, or I'll go and get it when I next go to Japan, which hopefully won't be that long away. Because uh, um loving. Um, need to go back to Japan. Need to explore Godzilla more. Um, and I really want to see... Uh, I really desperately want to see Minus One. I really do. Um, I know I can sit through an entire movie in Japanese. I've sat through freaking 10 hours of Shogun near enough um, and loved it. Oh, you're missing out. I don't know why you can't get into Shogun. It's so damn good. And this week, bloody hell, what an episode this week. What an episode. Um, the, the penultimate episode was good. It's uh, it, were, but it, all, it all rests on the final episode, but it has been amazing. Um. So looking forward to the final episode. The trailer is intriguing, so we shall see. Um, have I watched anything else this week? No, not really. N nothing okay. new. <laughs> nothing so, new. Um, did you watch Order of the Phoenix? I did. I did. I watched Good half point. of it last weekend, um, and then finished it off today. <laughs> so, uh, I right. think this is I'm the final say... movie. Go on. I think that. Order of the Phoenix 
has probably the best bad guy in all of Harry Potter. There's not one bad guy that I've hated more and wanted more to get their comeuppance than fucking Dolores Umbridge. Uh, the yeah, actress, Imelda Staunton. Is Imelda Staunton in place? Yes. It's just such a good job of wanting to hate her so, so much. It's brilliant. I love that. That's the best bit about this movie is hating her and just... Oh, right from comments. the offset, even even when even at the beginning, when you're in the Ministry of Magic, and she's uh, she's in the 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 Wizarding Gamot, um, and she pipes up in there, and and you're just like, oh, you're a bit of a bitch, aren't you? Um, no, I loved it. Um, I the, the one thing that yeah, you are right that she is probably, you know, the most hateful. I mean, you hate her more than you hate Voldemort. <laughs> Yeah, um, I was th- I was thinking I was watching it, and it's. Do you know what the annoying thing is? is that you've come across people like that in real life. Yes. 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 There are people true. like that in real life? And that's uh, the bit I think that sells her the most. As you know, I think I I quite enjoyed Goblet of Fire last week, um, more than I thought I was going to although it's not the best adaptation of the book. The trouble with Order of the Phoenix book form is it it suffers from not being edited. Um, I think it was the first book where they really didn't edit it that well. Um, And it's way, way too long for the story that's trying to be told. And there's too much fluff in that book. And I think the film does a reasonable job of cutting down on that fluff. It changes a few things. Um... I, you know, this is the first time you really see full on wizarding battles. And I know they did it for the screen where, you know, you have to have the, the smoke coming down uh, and everything. But, you know, in the books, they apparate. They apparate. They don't fucking have all this smoke going. And I know it's done for visual and it's cool, but it kind of, you know, you know. Yeah, I know. But, but yeah. having said that, when, 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 you know, Gary Oldman turns up and you get that. Down. It's like okay, that is cool. It's annoying because it's not part of the book, but it is cool. And you know, I do like. It was done well. Yeah. There is a lot missing. You know, I, I would like to have seen the brains and things. That, it, I the... that's that's the weird thing, yeah. Because because you know, when they're in the fight in the Department of Mysteries towards the end, they do have as a tank with these carnivorous brain creatures in. Um, yeah. and they, they get destroyed. I think all the t- most of the time turners get destroyed too at the same time by yeah. accident, which is like kind of I needed to do that because it was a shit idea. Now I think about it, um, but, makes every life so hard telling stories. I mean, what's his face as as uh, Malfoy, Lucius Malfoy again? He's brilliant in this. I mean, perfectly cast. Um, Jason Isaacs, um, yeah. Luna Lovegood. Oh my god. Again, not only do I love the actress because she's the one person that stuck up for J.K. Rowling, um, she was just, she is fucking perfect. <laughs> I mean, she is just utterly perfect. And right, again, I, I liked that. At the beginning of the film, Harry seeing the thing, the, the tone of this film w- was done well, I think. Um, and, and and a lot of it was done right. It, it I, I liked this more again, but God, God, I hate I hate Umbridge, and you know it, 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 yeah. I said it, she is, she, it's almost so good. Yeah, <laughs> you really do. It, it's almost too good a performance, um, but I, 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 I did enjoy this one. It's the next one I don't think I enjoy that much. Uh, I mean, you know, surprisingly, actually, Dumbledore's quite calm in this, and it works better when he's calm. Um, because oh, yeah, hang on, no, 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 this is, no, no, no. So this, this is the bit where Michael Gambon p- pays off as Dumbledore because when he turns up to the Ministry of Magic and he has the showdown with Voldemort, yeah, you get the impression that he's gonna fucking fuck him up. Pardon my language. Yeah, but you see. In the book, he turns up and he's very polite. It's like, "Good evening, Tom," and you shouldn't have come here tonight, Tom. And it's all very calm and it's very and it's very placid. And then, you know, 
you, you know, like Voldemort sends like this fucking tornado at him, and he just flicks it out the way with his wand, like you know, try harder, bitch. Um, and uh, in the book, but it is this bit was okay, better than I remembered it the first time round. Um, I, I'm not sure. I like the look of the ministry, but then I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if the ministry set worked for me as well, but um, there are mo- there are bits that I like about it, and I don't know. I they didn't always get the feel the look of the feel feel right, but the, the tone of this film was 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 good actually. Um, the centaur that they they got all the bits that they should have done. This is w- one of the ones that yeah. they actually converted the book reasonably well. Did they miss a few things out that I would like to have seen? Yes, but out of it, since like Chamber of Secrets, where where the books were longer, this book this conversion got more of what I wanted to see on screen. And yeah, you're right. I mean, Umbridge just perfectly perfectly done and. The casting for this 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 was you know brilliant. Um, Luna was great. I I I liked Luna. I liked how this ended. How it how it ended. Um, I, I I just I enjoyed it more. Yeah, it 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 was good because I know that on the train it's not Luna that finds him. It's Tonks, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and they have. I have some bits, uh, some extra bits with creature in there too. I know that. Um, mm-hmm. So it's uh, I I I like the film. As I said, I, I I I don't like the first two, and then from that point onwards, because everything is all the continuity is in place. You get the attack on the on the on the burrows, which is at, sometimes by water, and sometimes not by water, sometimes by forest, and sometimes not by forest. Um, they had that bit in there, and that worked. Um, you had all the love potion stuff going on with like lavender and um, what's the other one? Um, that uh, I can't remember a name. Anyway, the, the bit with Ron and then you got Slughorn. I think the casting of Jim Broadbent and Slughorn works apart from I That's think the, number six. The, oh shit! Sorry, I jumped. I jumped a whole thing. I have jumped a whole film. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> Oh my um, god, they all blur into one, but it's enjoyable. But you're you're gonna come up with yeah. a few the only few things that I like about the sixth film because I think and we'll talk about that next week, because I think I'm gonna be a, in a it's different for me, the sixth book, but I'll watch I it think again. I I think when you watch the six, I think you won't be as hard on, on it as you have been. But when you watch the first part of the Deathly Hallows, you'll be extra hard on that because yeah, Oh, I it's... like the first part. I think because the first part is faithful to the book, um, but I tell you what about the fifth. The thing, the thing that you know, and again, it sticks in my mind again how good the casting was done in this one was Bellatrix. I mean, by God, that again, perfect, perfectly cast. Yeah, and she was she she plays that that character to a T. Um, yes, and yeah, I. I, I I actually liked this film more than I remember again. Mm. Um, I think it they, is they, one of the more faithful conversions from the book. He just missed out the brain scene. They which I they, did, they 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 did cut out the uh, the date with uh, Cho Chang where um, she's just bawling her eyes out in the fucking tea room, which I was quite grateful for because she just that was quite annoying in the book. It's like, hey, let's go out for a date. We'll go to the nice tea room in Hogsmeade, and they go to the tea room and she's like, oh, sing it, sing it, sing it, sing it, and you. You lose the Gildroy Lockhart scene as well in the book. Oh yeah, um, when they go to St Mungo's. Yeah. Yes. Um, but again, the way they did have the, the the they had the main events in here that and they didn't mess with those. Um, I I like how you know I like I like the Albus Filch thing banging up all the things and again the Weasleys um, escape the Weasley twins escape towards the end is fantastically done and you're all you are you are cheering them especially when the dragon comes in and chases after umbridge it's just it makes you cheer um in what is actually quite a dark film and and does have quite a dark foreboding tone to it um Mm. 
it was a well done film i love the opening the music that they play as, as they they fly on the brooms great music great music um to this um you know private uh not private tro um what's his face was done the house is done well um just uh, everything about it. it it was much better than i thought it was going to be much much yeah. better yeah, I think I think they cause story conversion from the book to Goblet of Fire. I think they made a lot of mistakes, and I think yes. they 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 knew that uh, uh, the Order of the Phoenix was the massive tome of a story, and they needed to to trim it down and make it fit in. It's the one. So, yeah. It, yeah, I mean, it's the it's my least favorite book it, because it's too damn long and it annoys me that it because you can just see where it should be edited. But it, in terms of films, actually, this is probably from three onwards my favourite so far. Okay. And you're right. And it is made by... The casting is just so damn good in this. And um, the performances are good. And uh, as I said, uh, What's Her Face is Bellatrix is, is, you know, delightfully evil. But Imelda Stanton kind of, you know, steals the, every fucking scene that she's in. She she was just one a killer <laughs> yeah yeah she was she was good um what was it thing i like um in it was the, the fact that cause I, I don't know how uh, how the uh americans are aware of this but in the british school system we have a thing called ofsted and they come in and they do the inspections and they make all the teachers feel they make the teachers feel awkward they make the students feel awkward headmaster, headmistress, whatever, make everyone feel really awkward as they put everything under a microscope. And Umbridge captures that. So I imagine there's a lot of teachers who see Ofsted in Dolores Umbridge as a, a school inspector sort of thing. And there's like kind of, the other thing is you've got the Weasleys, they cut out the fact that um, Harry gives the, we the Fred and George the winnings from the Goblet of Fire to start up the shop. Yeah. Um, which which they're really grateful for, and that's one of the reasons they're like really like him because it's like kind of it gives them the money because they were supposed to win something off of oh well, someone at the the Quidditch World Cup, but he never paid out because they get he gave him like fake gold that disappears after a while. That was but that it, was number four, it, yeah. and they cut that out. Yes, and you're right, yeah. they did cut that out, and you should have seen that. Um, mm. and we should have had that at the end. Yeah, to and but I mean again, we're going to see Fred and George's stop in six. So that, I'll watch six again. I'll watch it for ne in time for next watch week. Watch it again. You'll trust me. You'll, you'll you'll appreciate it a bit more now. You've kind of got away from from it, if that makes any sense. And no, I, uh, I, I enjoyed it. I, I like these because you do make you do make me justify my thingy. And sometimes you know I go back and watch them again. I go oh, okay, but I think part of it is. Because we've got so much shit now, going back and watching these, they're suddenly a lot better oh. than they were. <laughs> Dude, do you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm tempted to book going to see episode one, Star Wars episode one in the cinema, and I bet you, when I go back and watch I it, I won't be so harsh on it. I can, I, I like the prequels more now. I've watched the prequels recently, and compared to everything else, uh, I'm not going to criticize those prequels now. I mean, you know, I remember. Yoda fight scene, fucking, you know, I still, you know, people go, oh, yeah, episode, episode two, shit. No, 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 no. It has one of the single coolest moments in Star Wars history, uh, fucking ever. <laughs> and, I, um, tr trust me, yeah. I could have made that fight sequence better. Yes. Seriously, the first thing I, the first thing I would have done is I've had Yoda coming in with his cane, yeah, and then he looks around, so no one sees him, so he drops his cane, pulls his lightsaber out, so you know that it's a fucking act, so he can get one over on whoever he's fighting. Or and Boy's then after he beats him, <laughs> he then he then pulls the cane back after he's finished, and then starts hobbling again like there's a problem. Like he's and he's like he's fucking with people. But yeah. he does kind of do he does kind of do that. He does hobble out again. But I remember at the time that that scene was amazing, and it still is. Is it perfect? No, I, but it's still I, considerably no. better than you know modern Star Wars. Maybe we should do the prequels next after Potter, just to come back and go look, look, look. Let's watch these again. Um, yeah, you know what? Actually, let's do the prequels again. Let's do the prequels after par. Yeah, okay. we'll do the prequels after par because I, 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 I think that my brain says that it, you could have changed this into and strange changed it and stretched it out a bit 
and made it a really good premium TV show for like six episodes per thing. But we'll okay. see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes down. So yeah, we'll. Uh, well, I think we'll tie it up and put a, a, a bow on it. Um, slow news week. Hopefully, we'll get more slow news. news week. It is the final Hopefully slogan I'll... this week. So I will be talking about that next week because I, I, oh. I tell me to make people watch it. I will try and watch Shogun. You've got to get past anything. episode one. Once you get past episode one, episode two, I mean, at the ending of episode one, like midway through, it's not what you think. And then it starts getting interesting. By episode three, it's genuinely quite good. Episode three is a belter. Okay. Um, so um yes there's a couple of weak episodes in you know here and there but it, it episode three is a belter really good so um any any who um yeah let's put a bow on it thank all right you thank you very chat. much I'm sorry oh crikey thank you to everyone, thank you to yes, everyone, thank you to everyone in, the in the chat sorry guys as um yeah it's oh yeah a bit like hmm uh, 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 uh. Bit of a mare week this week, so we'll catch yeah. you next week and hopefully it'll be better. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>